Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I thought it would be fun at this Michaels, every artist haven in America, hopefully. And seeing as it's back to school time, we are going to go shop for some sketchbooks. We all need sketchbooks on our time off or just for our fall sketchbook because it's school time. So let's go ahead and let's go pick out some sketchbooks as well as some sketchbook supplies. I mean, I think you guys will really like what you see in Michaels. So let's go and see and I will show you what I would choose for my sketchbooks and also my sketchbook supplies. So let's go shopping in Michaels. So we are currently in Michael's and what I usually do is I like to go all the way to the back of the store. The back of the store usually has my sketchbooks. All of Michael's layouts are different though. So make sure you always ask somebody for help. If you don't know where something is, make sure you ask an employee because chances are they do know where it is. Or if somebody looks like they're knowledgeable and knows where everything goes in Michael's, like me, ask me. <laughs> It's beautiful. So these are the sketchbooks I used to buy all the time, the Strathmore sketchbooks. And I like ones that are actually bound together or a hard cover. Things, see, this is Michael's Artist Loft brand. So these are their sketchbook brand. It's like some bullet journals, graph paper, notebooks, and then we've got sketchbooks down here. There's all kinds of art lo artist loft. Are these blank? Oh, look at these the notebooks, they're so cute. So these would be a good one, but I like these sketchbooks because they're hard bound. You see, and, and I always like to feel paper too. So this paper is pretty thick. I like it. It's different from like computer paper. So I would always suggest get kind of a hard bound book like this with good paper. So this would definitely be a good starter sketchbook. I like these, but I don't like that. I would honestly get a hard brown book so that they stay forever. I have hard brown sketchbooks that are about 10 years old. So these are good too. The only bad thing I have to say about these type of sketchbooks with the spirals is you better hope that your spirals don't break because these do break pretty easy. Now these are actually, I like this paper too. It seems thick and it doesn't seem like it would bleed through. So to rip out pages just to sketch on when you're around somewhere and you don't want to keep it in a book. I would always suggest keep it in a book though. And then Bristol board is where I put my Copic marker sketches on because it's thick and it won't bleed through. The whole sketchbook aisle. And we got big pieces of paper down here. So this is where I get all my tone tan paper. See, we've got tone tans, little baby sketchbook. I love this. I actually kept a whole sketchbook of using just tone tan, so I would strongly suggest that as well. It's something different and it challenges you to do more shadows and highlight work. So here's tone gray, tone tan. This is Artigan paper, so it's completely black. This is good quality stuff. I would definitely suggest this brand if you want to do tone tan or Artigan or tone gray work. I've never really been a fan of Canson, to be completely honest. I've never been a fan of them. So I can't really say, go get a sketchbook that looks like this. I don't know, I just, I've never really liked it. I turn around at the sketchbook aisle and look what's behind me. Oh my goodness. Look at all this goodness. Now these are the colored pencils that I use all the time. Prismacolor, pretty cheap. Go with the attention that you're going to have a coupon and only buy one item and then these are interesting. I like these. I need to try these out. Artist Loft alcohol based markers. And then the golden pot of gold on top of gold on top of gold. Look at all these Copic markers. We got Copic marker chow. And we got Prismacolor and more Copic marker sketch. Now, the difference between Copic marker chow and Copic marker sketch is that these are cheaper and good beginners, beginner markers, and Copic markers eyes, beginner markers, more advanced markers, more ink, less ink, $5.99, $7.99. And then we've got all of these. What? Oh, there's a clearance? I want it. I'm gonna buy this one. And I'm gonna buy this one. Oh my gosh, my wallet is gonna bleed. So these are the pens that I like to use when I'm lining. 
I love microns. I probably will never sway away from microns. They're my favorite. Absolutely, this one right here, my favorite. And I get just like, I get black ones and then I get the sepia toned ones. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere around here. Oh, and these are really great quality too, the Copic sepia ones. But look it, you've got all the supplies you need right here in front of you. Now I'm gonna go get an associate to take those down for me. I am so happy right now. My goodness. I'm so incredibly happy right now. I've got toys. These white gel pens are really awesome. I love this brand, Jelly Roll. One of my favorites. And then we've got more down here, more gel pens. But that's where I go. I This is where I go. If I just want a single gel pen instead of a package of three gel pens, this is where I go. 08 Jelly Roll. What is happening? Look at all these sketchbooks you can buy. Look at all of them. Now spirals, I'm not a huge fan of spirals, but I would definitely use them as individual pieces of artwork. Don't get me wrong, I love Halloween. But we just started August. I really, really love Halloween. I'm glad that they're doing this. Yes, I'm Mary Poppins. That concludes our trip to Michael's. Let's go over to Hobby Lobby and I'll show you all the amazing art supplies and sketchbooks they have to offer there. Cause some people like to shop at Hobby Lobby as opposed to Michael's or you'd like to shop at both. All right, I'm actually gonna go past the floral section and I'm gonna avoid people. <laughs> And then my sketchbook section is right over there. Yeah. Really annoying light. So this is the sketchbook section at Hobby Lobby. So we've got tons of these and a couple of different brands that you haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these brands that you probably didn't see at the Michaels brand. So let's go ahead and look at some of these. Okay, you got my favorite Copic marker, like individual rip out pieces of papers. My favorite kind of paper is Bristol Smooth Surface by Strathmore. And then you've got all their toned gray by Strathmore as well. This is called Master's Touch. This is Hobby Lobby's brand of paper. This is a spiral sketchbook, but it's the only one I have bought in years. I love this paper. It's actually really thick, so it's very similar to the Strathmore Bristol paper. So I would definitely, definitely consider getting one of these as a good startup sketchbook. It's a really, really good one. See, this is why I like Hobby Lobby, because they have different selections. They've got all this weird kind of stuff you don't see at Michael's or any generic art store. That's what I like about Hobby Lobby. You got the big Master Touch sketch pads, and here's another ske sketch pad. I don't know. I like this too. This is really smooth. It's nice and smooth. So the gym to Hobby Lobby is they have a lot of selection of a lot of sketching materials as well as like individual slots you can just go up and grab them plenty of sketch copic markers see oh look at this see they have awesome coupon times too 40 percent off so that's really nice that they have those so we have like the packages that i just bought at michael's the only downfall is they don't have the copic chow but they have copic sketches so if you're ever run out of a certain color you probably can just run over to a Hobby Lobby and see if they have a color, but they look like they're pretty stocked up. Wow, cool. So we got the Micron pens here as well, and we have a 40% off all pens. So that means I should probably grab some because I can never have enough. See all of these amazing selections. Prices are pretty good. And then they've got more pens. I love these Tombow pens. See, they've got more of these kind of pens, like the Japanese ones, that Michaels doesn't have. I've had two of these pens from one of my subscription boxes. I think it was probably Scrawler Box, and I've absolutely loved them, and I've gotten more from here. So we've got these nice Japanese pens, and we've got a lot of selections, and we've got tons of cheap. These are cheap water brush pens. And we've got more of these. Very, very cool. And then we got a huge selection of ink. They have more ink than Michaels does. So that's really, really, really nice to have. 
And then let's take a look at these. The thing I like about these sketchbooks is they're very similar to moleskins. So, or if you're looking at an Illo sketchbook like I get all the time. See, the thing I don't like about this is it's smaller and it's, I can't feel the paper. Oh, look, someone opened it up to feel the paper. But the thing is, this is smaller and I, I mean, it's sturdy, but then again, it doesn't look like the pages are as white as my Illo sketchbooks. So I really like my Illo sketchbooks and they do not sell Illo sketchbooks in store. They sell them on Amazon. If I were to start with a good sketchbook, I would buy this one because I like the paper quality. It's got this nice thing on it that usually every time I, <laughs> I have one of these books, it just breaks off and that it's nice and smooth and it, and it actually can hold Copic mark sketches. It won't bleed over. I mean, you can never be careful. I still put like a test piece of paper behind my sketches when I'm using my Illo. So I would definitely buy this. I'm still a huge fan of hard bound books instead of spirals because these will last longer than the spiral notebooks will. So I would definitely grab one of these. I would grab a, that hard bound book as opposed to something like this. I know this has more paper, but that one is a lot safer to have. But if you were to buy a spiral note, spiral sketchbook from Hobby Lobby, I would buy this one. This one, this one, this one, or this one. This is the one that I had. I really like this paper a ton, and I would definitely suggest it. Can my face just go like right here? all out and you like them all and then you kidding me so sketchbooks are like a pair of shoes or a dress you try these things on you try them on for size and then you realize that you really like this brand for example a converse kind of brand you know you like your converse shoe you keep going back more and more and more that's how I am with my sketchbooks but honestly you have to try different brands in order to know what your favorite kind of sketchbook is as an artist what's easier to carry around do the pages fall out? Is a good sturdy sketchbook? Does it last a long time? It's up to you, but these are your main hubs, Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I love both stores. I can't pick a favorite because once again, I can go and get awesome deals at Michaels as well as Hobby Lobby and always go in with a coupon. Always, always, always. Make sure you always go in with that 40% coupon at either stores. Michaels accept competitor coupons now. I don't know if Hobby Lobby does, but always go in with the intention that you're gonna buy one thing so go and buy one thing and use that coupon and then you won't have a problem with spending too much money. And this is not a sponsor in case you guys are wondering, but right now I just really like my ILO sketchbooks and I'll put the link down below and on to their link to Amazon. I'll put that down below in the info box. I'll also put in the links down below other sketchbooks that I've used that I would recommend that I got from Amazon or I got it from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I showed you a ton of Strathmore sketchbooks have been my favorite up until I just find different brands like I found Illo. I still have a Strathmore hard brown sketchbook that I still use to this day just if I want to do doodle in it, but the ones I fill up the most are my Illo sketchbooks. But all your supplies are in Hobby Lobby, they're in Michaels, go looking for them. They're there, if not, there's Amazon. Amazon's wonderful. But yes guys, I hope you like this video and I hope this gives you a better idea on where to shop when it comes to looking for sketchbook supplies. Go and get that fall sketchbook that's ready for the semester, fill it up within a semester, give yourself a goal and go shopping. Bye guys.